Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. The cats are having brunch today. It's about 10.35 a.m. right now. We all slept in, and they're having homemade raw food with some water mixed in and a few of the new indoor crunchies on top. And Boo has like a spoonful of some canned food mixed into his, the I and Love and You chicken recipe. And the other cats have like a tiny bit of that as like a cherry on top of their meal. And um, yeah, hopefully everyone will eat their brunch. Looks like everyone is enjoying their food. So while they're eating, I am going to go and wash all of the cat prep items, the cat food prep items, the little bowls that I use to mix up their food and stuff like that. I just moved Splash over a little bit because he was just kind of infringing on Boo's space a little bit. The paper plates are great because they're super convenient and I don't have to wash them, but they do slide around on this thing. I mean, I could clip them to the edges, but they don't stay flat, so. And my hands right now are the worst that they've been all winter. Like, they are so red, rough, raw, and cracking just from dryness and they're basically dishpan hands from uh, washing them too many times and from you know doing too many dishes so that's the uh that's the number two reason why I feed the cats on paper plates. The number one reason is it saves me time because I don't have to wash plates. The number two reason is because it saves my hands. All the cats finish the majority of their meal, but Boo eats slow and he had not finished and then he walked away. So I moved the plate over toward where he was and he still didn't want to eat. So this is what he does. Like, I have to put the food up here, I have to put crunchies on it, and then he eats it. And what happens is Simba and Stella then circle around him like vultures waiting for him to finish. See? See, Simba's going to watch him, and Simba's going to wait. The minute Boo walks away from his plate, Simba will then descend upon it. Okay, now Simba moved away and he's laying down. It's really kind of exhausting sometimes. It's just easier when the cats eat their food than having to, uh, you know, play these games. The other option is I just pick up Boo's food and put it aside and nobody eats it. But you can see that Boo wants to eat it. He's hungry. He wants to eat it. So I don't think that would really be a nice thing to do. Maybe he would learn uh, to eat it downstairs versus up here. What I need is another room in this house. I need one separate room that is just specifically a cat's room uh, that is big enough to accommodate like all the cat furniture and you know nice place for them to eat and all that stuff. And Boo's room is a bit small for that. And um, downstairs was fine, but I don't know why Boo thinks it's not really his territory. So I think what I need to do is start spending more time down there. Um, and then maybe Boo will spend more time down there also. And then he'll be more comfortable down there. Um, it's just that there's so much stuff down there right now. I really need to like clean it out and organize it. This house just tends to accumulate stuff. It's 11.13 a.m. I open the back door to go outside and Hydrax is meowing at me, so I'm giving him some food. 
He's getting a full can of the Trader Joe's turkey and giblets with warm water and herbs. The herbs are just general healing herbs for him. Go eat your food, Hydrox. He's looking at it. He's smelling the air. Is he going to go eat it? Go eat it. It's 3.13 p.m. And this is Simba's disgusting snack. It's little dried fish heads. These are sardines. They're from the bag of sardines. We're near the bottom of the bag. And yes, he's getting them on a Halloween crunchy plate. Simba, what are you doing? You're just sitting next to your plate? You're just hanging out here? Oh, Hydrox is by the back door. He's meowing. Hydrox, did you eat your breakfast? I give you breakfast. I was out running errands yesterday and I saw this in Bed Bath & Beyond. This was the last one they had in the store. It is a Paws Life litter cover and cat home. It says keep your kitty's litter hidden with this modern end table. It says it fits litter boxes and beds up to 18 inches by 18 inches. Door opens wide for easy access and secures with a magnetic catch. Cat entryway measures eight inches by eight inches. And the price on this was $59.99, I believe. And I had a 20% off coupon. Bed Bath & Beyond always has 20% off coupons. So I got it for $47.99 plus tax, which came to $51.99. So, so it was a pretty good deal. And before I bought it, I did look up the reviews online. And the biggest negative was that it does not fit most litter boxes. A lot of people were saying that their litter box could not fit in it, so they had to get a smaller litter box or they had to find one that would fit. And I have several litter boxes downstairs of varying sizes, so I figured at least one of them should fit in here. The litter box that is currently in Boo's room has the high sides. The reason why it has high sides is to try to keep the mess down, to try to keep litter from going all over the place. And this litter cover and cat home um, would do that because it has sides all around it. So what I'm thinking is I would take one of the smaller litter boxes downstairs and put that in here um, because it's like has built-in higher sides. And here's Boo. Hey Boo. Boo was taking a nap on his day sofa. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this, put it together, and we'll see how it looks and we'll see if Boo likes it. Um, the entryway is 8 inches by 8 inches. I don't think that should be a problem. All the cat houses outside have entryways of like 6 by 6 so I think 8 by 8 is okay. Um, and hopefully uh, Boo will like it and hopefully he will use it and if he doesn't maybe I'll put this downstairs and I don't know. We'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is that this was the last one in the store and this one was opened. So I'm hoping that all the pieces are in it. I'm hoping the instructions are in it. And they told me that if it's missing anything, I can return it up to 180 days. So I have 180 days to return it, which is like six months. So Yep, fingers crossed uh, this is easy to put together, and fingers crossed that Boo likes using it. So these are all of the pieces that were in the box, and just as I thought, uh, it appears that the directions are missing. There are no instructions on how to put this together, so I'm just going to wing it based on all of my uh, experience putting IKEA furniture together and stuff like that. There is a bag of screws and hopefully uh, there's like an Allen wrench or tools or something like that. And um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. And this is what it looks like after it has been put together. This like black wood attracts every cat hair in the house. At least that's what it feels like. So I've been cleaning it off with uh, paper towels and some uh, cleaner. And uh, I'm going to put this in Boo's room now, and we'll see 
uh, what litter box fits in here. So this is the litter box in Boo's room. And I think it is going to be too long to fit into this new piece of furniture. Um, we'll see. So this litter box obviously does not fit in here. It's a few inches too long. It barely fits width-wise. It's definitely too long this way. I'm going to go see what I have downstairs as far as a smaller box. This is the first litter box that I bought for the cats. And when I upgraded to larger litter boxes, I just kept it to have as an extra. And hopefully this will fit. And look at that, it fits perfectly. This says it is a Boots and Barkley large cat pan. And that brand is sold at Target. I believe that's the Target brand. Um, so it's 18 and a half inches by 15 inches by five and a quarter inches so it's a good fit so if you're watching this video because you bought one of these uh, litter houses um, you can probably get a litter box that fits at Target and there it is that is what it looks like with the litter box and the litter inside of it now this is also supposed to help keep the amount of dust down in the room um, because one thing that happens in this room is that I do notice things that are within a few feet of the litter box do get a uh, layer of dust on them from the litter box dust. So I'm just gonna clean up uh, all the stray litter on the floor right now and put this on the side and then hope the, uh, the cats use it. For dinner tonight, the cats are trying these Primal Raw Nuggets for cats. This is the chicken and salmon formula. And I believe they've had this in the past and they didn't really like it, but I'm hoping maybe their tastes have changed a little bit. Um, so I went to the store the other day to buy um, a few bags of the commercial food because they've been having commercial food for breakfast. Then they have homemade food for dinner. That's been working out really well. And they didn't have the rabbit nuggets that I bought them uh, the last time. But they had these, and they like chicken, and they like salmon, so I thought maybe they'd like these. So that's what they're going to get for dinner. So now it looks like the cats like it. Boo was eating on the platter with them for a few minutes, and now he's eating on the steps. Yeah, it looks like a hit with the cats. This is great. So I mixed a little warm water in the raw food and then they got two bench and field treats on top along with maybe a quarter of a tablespoon, maybe like a teaspoon of the uh, indoor crunchies. Is it easier to eat it on the rug splash? I need to get some kind of like non-stick round thing to put on this tray. Eat that some more. And here's Boo. Boo's eating his food. I'm glad Boo likes it also. He's doing a good job with it. It's 7.24 p.m. I'm in the dining room working on my laptop computer for a little while and I just heard that horrible sound. You know, the sound of like pumping noise you know, the sound that means a cat is vomiting. Yeah, that's what I heard. And I know it wasn't Stella. And I know it wasn't Simba. And I know it was Boo because I caught him doing this. So it looks like he just vomited his dinner. I don't know if it's because he has a hairball or what. But then he moved over and he was continuing to vomit, so I threw a few paper towels under him and he actually vomited on a paper towel, so I'm really happy about that. Boo just came out of the litter box. I don't know if he used it, though. 
I'm cleaning up the rug with this Nature's Miracle Advanced Severe Mess Enzymatic Formula. It is a stain and odor eliminator, and this stuff is horrible. It smells so bad. But I can confirm that, yes, there was a hairball underneath the pile of vomit, so that's what caused it. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.